Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mad Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play series. So we got our Luchara Go console on the market. Made a nice profit of 60 million nearly. We got Puzzle Pets 8, Puppies, 65 million profit. Then we got Digicraft Cities, not quite as profitable. And then we got Dragon's Dungeon, which is going to lose me money, because this is exclusive to the Luchara Go. <laughs> so maybe we made up the money in extra Luchara Go sales, probably not, but that's fine. We got another console being made. This is also tech level three. It is a stationary console. Hopefully by the time that's done, we'll be close to ready to make a, uh, a tech level four console. We're researching some stuff for that right now. We have a RTS, my first RTS. So who knows how good it's going to be is being made right now. Um, RTS is the trend. We're chasing the trend. That's fine. Um, actually, let's, uh, let's market this. Let's do a TV spot. Let's get that up to 90 hype. So mocap is working, graphics is working, QA is working, sound is working, QA is falling behind. You know what I think I need to do? I think I need to make an extra development room over here. Like this for my backup development team. Because it, it kind of needs to grow as well. Because I will be making MMO soon. It's not not today. People have asked in comments about MMOs. They're coming. Don't worry. I will be making a, at least one MMO, probably more than one. But it's not today. I feel like 1996 is a little too early for an MMO. So there's 16 desks crammed in there. So we're going to move our backup development team over here, and we're going to repurpose this space for a giant QA room, and we're going to add to it. Because like I said, it seems like QA is always uh, behind nowadays. And that's with the backup QA team squashing the bugs, right? If, 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 um, spit of that loot. <laughs> if I was counting on that team to improve and squash the bugs, I'd be waiting for them like all day, right? It, that's just not acceptable. It is not acceptable. All right, so let's get some heat in here. Okay. I hate trying to put heaters on the walls like that when you can't, uh, C, and then we will put up. Oh, we got three gold records. Let's put one there. Game of the year over here. Game of the year there. Is that going to be good enough? Yeah, that works. All right. So we're not going to move them yet. We're going to wait till they do what they do. They're working on a paid add-on for puzzle pets. Um. Actually, I should have probably... That's what I should be doing marketing for. Eh, Warzone marketing is fine. All right. So these guys are polishing, but did we do everything? I forget. Did we make this game good? Yeah, we did everything we could already. All right. So let's, uh, let's polish. Do we want to get through this commission work? You know what? Let's do this commission work and then we'll polish. Sure. They're working on the last thing. They're working on that. All right, so this QA team, which game are they bug fixing right now? They're bug fixing Warzone. I'm actually going to cancel that and get them to bug fix Puzzle Pets. Yeah, I kind of I need to make all these other teams bigger. Well, graphics and sound, I have space in both rooms, so I should probably try to get people. All right, um, what do you have? You have Loyal... Not compared, mm -hmm. but like his, his scores are a little too low, right? For this point in the game, I don't want to be hiring somebody that low. It's going to bring me my average down a little too much. And you are on talent to learn slower, so you know what? We'll hire you instead. <laughs> really that simple. All right, large booth. We will go with cats. We will go with dragon's dungeon, I guess. And yeah, I don't care about Digicraft Cities. That's almost off the market. This is at 164 hype from when we overhyped it. And hey, we have two consoles now. Yay. Is that also close to being done, by the way? Yeah, two thirds. Research happening. Okay, all right, marketing. Let's do some marketing here. Four cats. Let's do two TV spots. I'll get it to 100. All right, and these guys, um, which game do we want to polish? 
probably polish the RTS. Graphics team is polishing. They're still working. Oh my god, they're slow. And they're polishing. Yeah, so this is why we need <laughs> um, to get a bigger QA room. They're, they're falling behind. Alright, um, let's wait a little bit. And then we will... Um, do I want to self-publish this? Yes. We have the space, because we are not going to need to make any more copies of Dragon's Dungeon. We have 200 and some thousand in stock. It's only selling a thousand per week. This is my console exclusive. That's a failure. All right, so we'll wait on that one for the marketing to be done. All right, this research is done. Let's grab this dynamic and destructible world. My subsidiary made me $1.3 million. I like that. And if you like that video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot as a small YouTuber. All right, so let's cancel polishing and let's bug fix. No, there are no bugs to fix. So let's polish. Yeah, you can polish that, I guess. All right, so this is done. All right, so let's get, we got a bunch of special marketing we need to get through here. Pre-release for the press on Warzone. And then we need to do a pre-release for the press. Actually, let's do overhype on Warzone as well. Actually, should I? I don't know if Warzone's even going to be good. It's my first game of this type, so it might not be good. We will see. And then let's do a pre-release for cats. And we're going to overhype this. All right, so the overhype worked. All right, we got a legendary. We got a programmer. Um, and we got another sound person. No. Programming. You're hired. And you're going to go in this room. You're going to be part of my backup development team. All right, so. Warzone can go out. Warzone is ready. 70 to 90. That's pretty good for my first RTS, if I'm being honest. So we're going to self-distribute this. I'm going to self-distribute both of these. I think that'll be fine. Oh, there's a lot of these things we're not good at. That's fine. We're getting better. That's the important thing. And uh, 83. I'll take it. Alright, so I'm going to say probably I'm going to move a million copies of this. Let's just go with like 500,000 for now. And we'll say 60,000 of that. 20,000 collector's editions. Throw that on automatic. Beautiful. All right, and I think we're waiting for... We want to overhype this as well? Yes. Yes, we do. All right, so in the meantime, you guys can polish that. You guys can polish it. And guess what? You guys can also polish it. This group, on the other hand, can make a game report. Or zone since that was our first RTS, we can learn how to make an RTS better. Almost done there. And okay, so what kind of game are we making next? I feel like I had something planned, but I forget. Did we do market research? Do we know what's coming next? Oh, it's going back to EcoSim. So is our EcoSim engine up to date? It does not appear that it is. Wow, there's a lot of graphics for tech level four <laughs> and you okay yeah yeah let's update that this will be money engine four perfect all right this so research is done what genre could we research third person shooter we haven't even made a first person shooter yet forget about third person shooters all right tech level four Modern controller. What's this sound chip? Let's yeah, let's do the sound chip first. Sure. All right, overhype did not work for that. That is fine. Ooh, sales are strong there. All right, so let's do another market research. See if they come to the same conclusion. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Who knows? So let's finish development on this. Only 70 to 90. You know what? So I'm going to give this to my publisher. He can have this one. 
you can have this one, Sir Code. Especially since we upgraded them to four star market strength recently, right? So that should be good. Get a little better at stuff. It's always nice to see. And oh, look at that. 89%. That's good for an add on, actually. All right, so let's grab these folks, drop them over here instead. And they can do commission work. Get through that. All right, so let's throw this on pause for a minute because we have a lot of rooms not doing anything right now. So there's no commission work here. So they cannot do anything. I could train them. No commission work there either. Oh, wow, there's no commission work anywhere. So I need to make a game <laughs> immediately. But it doesn't make sense to make a game, unfortunately. So let's make this QA room ginormous. Might as well take up the whole space, right? I can't see me putting anything else up here. All right, so how many more desks can I fit here? Probably more than I need. And we can squeeze some in the middle later if we need them. All right. So now it'll ask me to move stuff around. Move this heater. Move this heater. Beautiful. All right. So the, he has the heat. The heat is good. How's the quality? All right. So we got to throw a, an award or something over in the corner here. That's not a big deal. We have awards aplenty. Look at all these best graphics and best soundtracks. There we go. Now everybody wants to work here. Now the question is, is there anybody we can hire? There is three game testers available. Um, untalented. I don't like untalented. Take breaks during crunch time. That's fine. I don't have a big crunch. I'm not big on crunch anyway, so that's fine. Do I want to train any of these groups while we have downtime? Yeah, I better. Graphic design. Okay. All right. Take it out. Pause. They're working on that. They're working on that. They're going to do commission work. Ooh, Warzone did not live up to the hype. I lost 3,000 fans. But we got a legendary game designer. You're hired. And actually, we're going to put you in here. And let's do market research. Also says ecosim. Perfect. So chances are it's going to be ecosim. Right? <laughs> chances are pretty good. All right. What could use some hype right about now? Luchara Go could use some hype. That's not the right room. That's not. Wow. I'm all over the place here. Marketing campaign. Luchara Go. TV spot. Let's get that back up to 100. That console must be almost ready to come out. Yeah, sure is. 93%. Still no commission work. Oh my god, half of these people don't benefit from the training. <laughs> Which means it's going to take them a while. Because because they don't benefit, means they also don't participate. Right? But that means I can start improving a game as soon as we start making a game. Oh, which we can right now. Alright, so let's go. Develop a game. PC and console. No, sequel. Crazy Game Tycoon 2. The game within the game. Again. Alright, so we're going to go with the new Eco Engine. But we are going to make this for personal computer. We're going to make this for the chair go. The chair box. And the game station. Yes. All right, so we're not reaching quite as many people. That's fine. Because hopefully this helps drive sales of my consoles. But we have to do tech level 3 stuff here. That's not the end of the world. Um, we got to buy new copy protection and new anti-cheat. Although anti-cheat doesn't really necessarily make sense for a tycoon game. But hey, this game has multiplayer. Like, 
the game I'm playing, not the game I'm making. <laughs> All right, so that goes there. That goes there. Actually, let's, um, what was my last eco sim? I did two, right? Um, I did Crazy Games Tycoon, which was an 82. Did I do another eco sim? Thought I did. Yeah, Zookeeper, which was 83. Okay, so let's copy Zookeeper. Wrong place, Joe. Wrong place. Looch, let's go. Oh, and now it's not alphabetical. <laughs> I was expecting alphabetical and it wasn't. All right, copy design settings. And let's read the letters. All right, too short, more depth, more core. Oh, they really want those up. I mean, you know, casual people don't really play tycoon games, I guess it makes sense. Um, more innovation, too violent. All right, so these got to go down, down, down to the burning ring of fire. Is that where they're supposed to, or these ones are supposed to be, I wonder? Maybe. 50, 20, nope. 50, 20, 10, 20. So I'm not even close. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. All right, turn on everything that matters. So there's only 24, so this does not need to be double A, therefore it's not going to be double A. Perfect. And away we go. All right, we need to put controller support and modern controller support. Okay, that's fine. 40 hype right out of the gate, which is always good. Got to make this one good. This one needs to be a goodie. Oh, I, can't, I shouldn't have. Mm. Keep forgetting about cutscenes. You should always leave cutscenes in, right? For that purpose. All right, and backup QA is occupied. Research is occupied. All right, away we go. And we made another 1.4 million from our subsidiary. I should probably start looking into uh, buying another subsidiary soon, right? Let's do an update for Warzone. Still selling pretty well though, despite the overhype fiasco. And Puzzle Pets is selling well. Puppies is coming off the market. Ooh, Chair Go sales are actually on the rise. Good to see. And where are we at here? Crazy Games Tycoon 2. Let's do two TV spots, get that to 100. Puzzle Pets 8 Puppies is off the market, but it made me 73 and a half million doll hairs. That is nice. All right, let's publish this console. Let's get it out. All right, so let's go with a $20 profit. We will lock the price in there. Allow third-party games, absolutely. And away we go. All right, so four stars, 7.6. That's because it's only tech level three and tech level four is, is out, essentially. Like there are tech level four stuff. Or there is tech level four stuff. But that's fine. And once they're done with this, we will do an update for Cats. Okay, best soundtrack for Warzone. Not my best year, though. Not my best year. Alright, so how far are we from a tech level 4 console? Let's find out here. We need sound chip, which is being made right now. So all we need is a data carrier. And we'll be able to make a tech level four console. So I kind of have regrets about doing the tech level three console now. <laughs> but that's fine. I'm willing to bet I still make money off it. All right, so let's research modern controller with these folks. And then when they're done with this, they can do the other thing that we needed to make the tech level four console. All right, we got a game designer, legendary. Ooh, a lot of good stuff. Donnie DeGlove, welcome aboard. Welcome to the team. Right, what was it that we needed? 
had a carrier. So get these folks to research the data carrier, which is this. Only for stationary. Yep. So that's what we want. Perfect. All right. Beautiful. But yeah, Dragon's Dungeon, our, our exclusive game, definitely not a good idea. 100% operating cost for servers. That's fine. We do not have any servers yet. Break room's busy. Bathroom's busy. Everybody's busy. It's all good. Right, they're banging away. They're banging away. I need a fourth person in this room. They are no longer keeping up with uh, the demand. Actually, you know what? Let's hire this game designer too. And put you in the backup room, which is currently not doing anything. So I should probably fix that. I should probably hire another cleaning robot. Oh, can you not fit one there? I know I can't fit one there because it blocks the door. Uh, what about here? There. Close enough. <laughs> Alright, let it let it ride there now. No, I expect this to be a good game. I'm hoping. Yeah, look how much faster my actual research team gets through the research, right? Because this is my uh my whatchamacallit. My hardware team, my console makers. So can we double up on this research? No. We can get new fans. Level five fans. Sure. Why not? They'll be done to this by the time they're done to that. So we can use the new fans. Oh, crazy games lost a bunch of marketing. Awesome. All right, let's get that back. <laughs> they're not doing anything up here, so we can blast through some commission work. Dragon's Dungeon is going to come off the market. We can do another update for Warzone. Yeah, both these games are profitable already. That's crazy. I mean, we can do a paid add-on for Warzone. Long before the... That's going to change in 17 weeks, so I don't want to start any other new games yet. Now let's do this. We'll do the contract work and then we'll uh, do another update for Warzone. All right, continue development. Still got a lot of work to do on this one, I believe. I believe all the teams are still working. Dragon's Dungeon. Okay, so I lost four and a half million, but we sold an estimated 32,000. The chair goes. Does that make it worth it? Probably not. <laughs> but all right. Oh, our graphics team is way behind because they're all over in the training area still. Because Looch screwed up. So we're going to be waiting for them. QA is already polishing. Sound team's under last thing. So yeah, we're going to be waiting for the graphics team. That's unfortunate. But that's okay. So we got a gold record for Warzone. This console is not selling all that well. That might have been a mistake making that console. But we'll see. As long as it gets its money back, I don't care. Like, literally, it can make zero dollars as long as it doesn't make any negative dollars. <laughs> I'm happy. And it'll have a good game coming out for it here, right? So, that should help. Yep, they're going to be done with this <laughs> research before they're done with it. So, I guess I should have uh, just left them to do it. <laughs> Probably. Oh, well. That's fine. In fact, you know what? Let's pull these people out. Let's let them do what they're actually good at, and that's make consoles. Oh, I thought there was commission work. <laughs> I was going to get them to do the commission work. All right, so as soon as they're done with this, which they are, move them over. Just temporarily get them to finish this. Then we'll slide them back. And eventually, I want to get an extra... Instead of having an extra research room, I want it to be his development room. Because once we finally get caught up in research... Um, we'll slide them back and forth between the two rooms, right? Is the idea. All right, so done. Nice. So let's... Well, which, <laughs> which one do I want to be which room? Unfortunately, they don't fit the same amount of people. <laughs> so we'll go engine feature, but we can still have room for a researcher. Might as well hire 
Augustinus. Augustinus. Whatever. There you go. Welcome aboard, Augustinus. All right. So how's the graphics team doing? Actually, they're done. Okay. They're polishing. So we can send this out if we're okay with it. But we also need to do tech level four console. Big fans. Big fans. And sound chip. All right. So let's just make sure we can't. Everything is as best it can be. Looks that way. All right, we'll call this the Luchera Cube. We already got the Luchera box, so now we got the Luchera Cube. Go for controllers. Go with modern controller one as well. Can we connect to the internet? Yes. Let's include um, Puzzle Pets 8. Uh, do, 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 eight. There we go. And let's make this one blue. Purple. Purpley blue. Purple. Purple's good. Purple works. Turn on all the features. This is a $35 million investment, I'm just realizing. All right, so let's actually do special marketing for Crazy Games Tycoon. Release for the press. All right, so backup development team is not doing anything right now. Probably do another free update. No, we were going to do a paid update, weren't we? Paid add on for Warzone. Warzone, we will go. What makes sense? World Wars is the primary, it's an RTS. What else fits? Conquest, War Zone, Conquest. <laughs> there. That 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 kind of fits, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go with it. All right. Um. Look at the game report for War Zone. Did we do a game report for War Zone? I did. Good. Thirty, thirty, ten, thirty. Okay. Thirty, thirty, ten, thirty. Enable all appropriate. All right, so we get some extra things. Oh, we can't because it goes over. Um, can I take stuff off? So I can't add this stuff. That kind of sucks. That's fine. That's not the end of the world, though. Would have been cool to add it, though. All right, so let's get this... Um, uh, special marketing done, and I'm going to overhype this one. I feel like this game's going to be good. I know the overhype didn't really work for Warzone, but on the other hand, it kind of did. I mean, look, it's selling well still, right? Speaking of Warzone, we never did a demo for that. Let's do that. All right. Um, overhype did work. All right. This better be good. Oh my god, it's only 70 to 90. <laughs> Eek. That's not what I wanted to see. Um, do I want to publish this? How many rooms do I have free? I, I, yeah, I might as well publish it. I have multiple free rooms. Let's see what happens. It better be over 85. Well, the trend is about to change. So that'll help with sales too. Yeah, 87. I said I want it to be over 85, but I was, I was secretly I was hoping it was over 90. Right? But that's fine. All right. And console. A lot of work to do on the console yet. Let's uh, let's do some marketing for the console. Share cube. We will do posters twice. Yeah, but you know what? That is going to be in the next episode. That's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Patreon. Links in the description down below to all that. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.